think I'm stupid, right? right. Fully is the truth. You're gonna learn today. Man, what's happening, YouTube? Y'all know me, you fully. AK the Golden Child, AK your mama's best friend, AK all that bullshit. Alright? So finally, we got the fucking walkthrough for Dragon's Keep. And I decided to go ahead. They had so many motherfucking weapons. I'm gonna show you out here on the floor in a minute. They had so many motherfucking weapons for this shit. I was like, man, fuck the modest shit. I'm gonna go in here with some of these DLC weapons. And they're not, they, they they actually are not that fucking bad, man. They got some really good shits in this goddamn DLC. I mean, over a hundred and some odd weapons. I have not shot them all. So if I miss, you know, one or two of y'all favorites, don't charge it to my mind. Charge it to, I didn't pick up over a hundred motherfucking weapons and try to shoot them bitches. Okay, but I got the ones that kind of, you know, stuck out to me and my boy Tuck was showing me some shits. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this walkthrough, man. I do have a modded B and a modded Relic, but I mean, everything else is just fucking legit. Uh, and I do have my fucking badass rank off, so I'm going to go through here with them shits off, you know, to make it as, you know, realistic as fucking possible with the fucking guns or whatnot. Uh, real quick, man, there are some fucking skins. Let me show y'all the skins real fucking quick, uh, but they're not in the fucking game. I don't know why they didn't upload them in the fucking game. Here's the one, it's called, this is the one just for the commando, it's called Bearded Justice. It looks fucking stupid, but it is one of the uh, DLC, uh, DLC skins, I mean heads. And the skin for it is uh, Quack Attack, and that's what that shits look like, but uh, they're not in the fucking game yet, you can't upload them through the program, and you didn't unlock them for beating the game. But uh, let me just show you a couple of these motherfucking weapons, man, this is that one, the Nasty Secret, that has a, a million damage. Uh, over a million damage is a fucking assault rifle. I'm going to shoot all these shits for you. Uh, this is the new and improved Omen. This bitch is bad in the motherfucker too. I'll show you all this shit. And then the uh, Binary Grog Nozzle. I really like this fucking skin, man. I really like the skin on that shit. And that's, last but not least, the uh, Impetuous Sword Explosion. I'm going to show you all this shit. Let's start off with the... See, this one right here, it just shoots, but it shoots homing missiles. So, I mean, it's, it has no enemies around, so the, none of the uh, the rockets are going to curve or go to the right. This shit kind of curved to the right. This shit kind of reminds me of... Uh, what that shit called? Off of Contra? I don't, know, old, I don't know my old school people watching. But back in the day, there was a game called Contra, and they had a homing uh, assault rifle. Tuck, you remember that shit? Yeah, Contra 3, man. That's what I said. Yeah, but that's what this shit kind of reminds me of. And uh, the next one is that uh, that Omen shotgun. And that, that fucking pattern is just fucking ridiculous. I had to pick that. And it's a TDR. And then this one is that binary pistol. And I just like the way this bitch shoot. So, I mean, and the skin. So, that's going to be my slag weapon. And then this, this one is the uh, swordsman. And it actually shoots a fucking sword. And the fact that this bitch is torqued, that's why it comes out with them fucking trial grenades and it does explosive damage. If you look at it, it, it shoots out trial grenades. God damn it. There you go. There goes some. When I guess. See the trial grenades? God damn. Alright, enough of that bullshit. But here goes all the weapons. We were just going through the shits here. A little earlier, man, and I didn't pick up all of them, but these are all the DLC weapons here on the ground, man. But I'm going to go ahead and go through this walkthrough. I got my boy Tuck with me, and uh, Tuck, say what's up, bro. What up, yo? And then I got a uh, new cat. What's your name, dude? I don't want to call you Lord. Lord. Lord? You can call me Sam. Sam works. Fam. You want me to call you Fam. Sam, S-A-M. Sam, nigga, Sam. I know. I'm saying that that means something else to me when I call another dude Fam. You know what I'm saying? Like, but hey, that's the whole different other direction. I'll call you Fam. We got Fam yeah, we'll here. Come to you. Fam here, man. Cat. Sam, fully Sam. That's what I said. Fam, like family. No, oh, nigga, like Sam, like Sammy. <laughs> Sam. Okay. S as in soldier. Right. Yes. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in this fucking walkthrough. Enough introductions. 
I, I hope my fucking cutscene is on. If, if so, I'm gonna shut the fuck up. There we go, cutscene. The Vault Hunters play the game. The world is on the brink of going boom boom. This is our most desperate hour. Unless we make a stand here and now, we're going to die. Now. Go for initiative! What's initiative? It says which order we attack at. I punched the initiative. What's going on? I wasn't paying attention. You know, why don't you start over? <clears throat> Welcome, fine ladies, to your first session of the most coolest game in the world, Bunkers and Badasses! As your Bunker Master, I will be spinning today's tale of fantasy and... Wait, why the hell are we playing this kid's game? Oh, you know, maybe because... Shut the hell up, Morty! Tina? She's right, though. Shut up. While our vault hunting buddies beat the slam jam out of that Hyperion informant downstairs, I thought we could play a game. Now, pick your characters. You got the Necromancer, the Crando, the Siren. Siren. Dibs. My Siren's name is Brick, and she is the prettiest. Tina, why don't we just start now and figure that out later? Come on, girl. You know we gotta wait for Roland to start. Oh. Tina, Roland's... You know Roland's not coming, right? He's not here anymore. Probably run in late or something. We'll just start now. So, like I said, roll for initiative, suckers! All right, here we go, man. Let's jump up into this bitch. Flame rock refuge. This place used to be really nice, and the handsome sorcerer messed everything up. I say we head toward the town to investigate. This bitch. It's a lovely day in Flame Rock Refuge, a far cry from... Wait, didn't you just say the sorcerer messed up the town? Why would things be lovely? Uh, whoops. Uh, what I meant to say is, it's eternal night, and you hear spooky music, and the whole area kind of smells like butts and dead people. Smells like home. Suddenly you're attacked by a horde of... The nigga said it smells like home. Yeah, my nigga, I already went down. Be still. Die for me, dude. I'm used to the emotions I am currently feeling. I saw the light. Yeah, man, this motherfucking gun pistol ain't bad. Are you using this bitch? Which one? That uh binary shit. Then, uh... <clears throat> yeah, the binary grog nozzle shit. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, man, and that sword shit ain't bad either. Damn, bro. Wow, do you work out? Or... I can't even fit. I damaged myself a lot, apparently. Yeah, that's why I can't it's fuck with this, uh, Krieg nigga. The handsome sorcerer's pet dragon appears! It's one every, uh, three knives I attack myself in the face. It's crazy. You try to attack the dragon, but your attacks do nothing! Oh, that's why my shit's not going to this nigga. The dragon attacks and... Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> And some dragon. <laughs> I wanted to kill something. Okay, how about a new boss? He's a skeleton. And his name is So is this bitch just making up shit as we go? Pretty much. Yeah, you never played Dungeons and Dragons, bro. Bitch! You're not white and nerdy, bro? No, I can't say that I am white and nerdy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an awesome game, dude. You gotta use your imagination. Oh, 
Where is the main dude at? I'm not seeing his ass. It's this tiny guy. It's this tiny guy right underneath me. Jesus, hey. Yeah, you're all kinds of shooting the shit out of me. <laughs> I didn't even see him. I was <laughs> just unloading. I was trying to teabag him and it did not work out so well. Alright. So, are you going the right way? Uh, no, there's a thing over here you get an achievement for. You get the chest. Hey, yeah, these niggas ain't shit. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, you are fucking getting your ass. Dude, I'm telling you, it, it's probably not his fault, bro. You know how that nigga is, that Creed character. Yeah, because I gotta stay all up in the shit, but every time you shoot me, I die. <laughs> Maybe I should switch to my siren, she's 61. Yeah, yo, let me switch to my siren, bitch. I'm getting shit on. Damn, I miss this motherfucking game. My fucking turns go ham. That's what I'm saying. Like is just so sexy with that purple tattoo. Sexy tee. <laughs> Like I said, man, if, if so, tell me if Defiance was not, if Borderlands wasn't more on the Defiance arena, wouldn't that shit be tight to the bits? It would, yo, but I would need it to be. I need. I would need it to stay fucking first person. That's what I'm saying. The only reason why I kind of like don't like Defiance, which I fucking like it, don't get me wrong, because that bitch is third person. But that's what I'm saying. If it had this same aspect of this game, but it was like Defiance, but big ass multiplayer, that should be man. That'd be fun. It'll be fun, this will be different. Wait to niggas. So this ain't even part of the game where we going. Ah, well, there's I, I, I ventured over here when I played it the first time. There's more of them later, this is just the first one, but if you, uh, come up here. Spotted some help. Take the sword out of this dude's back right here. Where? Right, right over here, dude. If you don't take his, if you don't take the sword out, he comes back to life and shit. Hold on. He's already dead now. I think he only does it twice. All right, so take the sword out and then do what? Oh, then he dies. Like once he dies, once he dies the first time, he's dead for real. And then what do we do? I'm trying to show you this chest over here. This is like one of the new ways they decided to spend iridium in the game. God damn it, you fucking! Now where is the chest at? Right here, the shit with the little two dice on top of it. Just hold X to roll the die and hold Y to spin them both. So just push Y. They'll spin them both and you'll see what happens. Alright, so I got six. So I'm saying, like, what happened? You roll it, the chest opens up, and I guess the. Whatever level is, how the fuck did I die? Higher the number, I guess, the better the shit you get. Cause I rolled a twenty once, and it was like e tech shit. Oh, I guess I yeah, I'll roll that shit. Can I roll it again, or is nah, like there's like only one roll per box? You know, there's like a couple more when we're running through. All right.
minutes to this. That's just a side note. I guess it's pretty tight. I guess the higher you can probably get legendaries then, right? Uh, you I would you would assume so. You going the right way now? Oh, we gotta go to the diamond, bro. Look where the fuck the little diamond is at. That's just another cove or a little cutoff. We gotta go back to the way we was at and run back up to that, uh, run up that hill. You guys missed the skin for the runner. I already got it unlocked. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> I missed shit. Alright, you guys, we're coming up on that, uh, 15 minute mark. I'm gonna go ahead and break for. Part number two. You fool, you signing the fuck out. Spread the word, I'm back breaking, bitch.